Uh, it's DeAndre Hunter at Atlanta Hawks. You listen to the three-point conversion. What's up? Hello. It's a lot of y'all today. Y'all right? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about you. How are you? I'm great, man. Bless. Bless. From your perspective, what happened on Friday between you and me? Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, it was just a, a situation. I mean, we're all grown men here, and there's sometimes we don't always agree. And uh, I mean, it's unfortunate that private, private situations and private conversations get out to the public. But I guess that's what uh, the world we live in now. But uh, I mean, I'm just, I'll just focus on basketball and focus on helping my team win. And that's what I got to get to refocus it on. But what's public was that you not at the game. So why weren't you there? Man, it's how you. Uh, so you was at me, bro. Uh, I'm just curious. I mean, you're leader of this team. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard for people who don't know the full situation to, to understand it. So, I mean, it's like I said, it's a private matter again. It, it made public, which was unfortunate. Um, and if it was stayed private, it probably wouldn't have been as big of a deal. But uh, like I said, it's unfortunate. My, my job and my goal is to, to win a championship, and that's all I focus on. But you can see the perception, though, Trey. You are a leader of this team, and when you're not there, to yeah. But when your you eyes. when you when you're an outside guy like you are, you don't understand in a private matter, in a private situation, uh, you should probably stay on the outside. And like I said, it's unfortunate that everybody has to understand and, and know a little bit of the details that went on inside. But um, I mean, inside here, we're all good and. Uh, you got any more questions about that, then you can you can talk to somebody else about it. That's all I gotta say about it. You agree it's not it's not a good visual though. That you weren't on No, not everybody understands the situation now. I don't necessarily disagree on the, the choice that I made. You, you, is there any issues with you and Nate, your relationship? I know there's been there's been scuttlebutt about, you know, you guys have gone back and forth and whatever. Is it just like minor arguments? Is it something major? No, like I said, I mean, we're all grown men here. We Sometimes we don't always agree, and that's okay. I mean, uh, we've had times where we agree on a lot of things. We agree on a lot of things. We disagree on some things. So that's okay. It's a partnership. He's a coach. I'm a player. I like, guess it's part of it. It's basketball. Uh, like I said, it's unfortunate that you as a media member and you as a media member and everybody here found out about it because it, it made, got made public. But it's, it was a private conversation that got made public. That's all it is. Where did you shoot around today and where you play tonight? Yeah. As far as avoiding miscommunications going forward, how do you and, and Nate address those? We'll figure that out. Was it your decision not to be there on Friday? Mutual. When you go up against a guy like SGA and OKC, what stands out about him? Such a guy, you know, to really go this season, I think averaging 30 plus points per game. Yeah, he's been playing really good uh, all year. I mean, he's played really good his whole career. It's been tough. I mean, he's been a, on a team that hasn't really won too much, but. I mean, in OKC, they're, they're rebuilding right now, but they got talent over there that can, with guys that can make plays. And I mean, Shea is obviously the leader of that group, and uh, he brings a tough challenge to us. Trey, can you talk about the team, how they played Friday night? Not with just you, but without John, and how good it was to see that? Yeah, it was unbelievable. I mean, it was a great, great team win. I mean, took advantage of them coming out slow, and us us making shots and being aggressive. It was, it was important for us to do that, to, to set the set the tone and, and they did that and and that I think that's what helped us I mean when they were fighting their way back in the game to still have confidence to make plays and, and we did that and we won so I was happy Trey when you're the when you're the best player on a team the centerpiece of an organization obviously there's a lot that comes with that whether it's leadership facing the franchise whatever is that a role that you you embrace I mean of course I've embraced that since I first got drafted I mean, so yeah of course is there is there any more steps that you think you need to take in that area, or whether it's maturity or leadership or evolving? Well, we, or we can always get better. Like I always tell everybody, I, I'm always trying to get better. I'm a sponge and learning, learning new things. I've had great vets, Lou, Rondo, Jeremy Lin. I mean, I've had some great veteran veteran guards that I mean, I've helped um, teach me things and help me understand this game. I mean, even Vince Carter. I mean, other guys that I've been around, like even guys from other teams that I ask and. And I'm just a sponge to learn new things. I don't know it all, and I, I never tell anybody that I do. So I'm just I'm just here to play basketball and win a championship and try to do my best. So. This, this is at least the second time, fairly recently, if you go back to Coach Pierce's thing, that you know, it was a big national story that probably didn't reflect well on the organization, and maybe even you indirectly. I mean, how do you, how do you feel about that? I don't know what's going on, and your role in it or not. 
I mean, we went to the Eastern Conference Finals that year. I mean, if you remember that too. So, I mean, I think it's, it's all about just focusing on taking care of what you can control. So, I can't control you knowing what, what happened in, the, in our private matters. So, I, I can't control that. Yeah, again, I respect what you're saying about the, the, the private of, of, of the locker room, the private of the practice court. We're not here. I guess it's just a public thing of you not going to support your teammates when you're healthy about not going on the bench. So I wouldn't the disconnect there. If I was healthy, I would have been playing. But, I mean, John was in a boot in Houston. Yeah, but you don't know the full story. Again. You wanna again. Play? No, I don't want to. So that's just there's more to it. If you being healthy, just, I mean. A private matter needs to stay private. Touched on the playmakers that OKC has, Shea, and but they also have Josh Giddey and, and Hoki. How do you guys plan to go up against them? Uh, we went over shit around today, and I mean, I, people will see what we, we planned over tonight. Thanks, sir.